Let's say that I want to control a specific parameter within a SOP node by using an attribute. So I have this mountain SOP here, and it's being applied to a sphere, and I'd like to control this height only in specific regions. Well, your first impression might be to use groups. And if we go here to this little arrow, we can select some points and use groups. But as you can see, the issue with that is that there's no way of nicely blending these values with the surrounding points. So this is why we would use attributes instead. In order to do this, let's create a paint sop. And what I'd like to do is override the internal attribute that's responsible for this parameter specifically. Let's go ahead and clear out our group section. And if I hover over this word height, you'll notice that it says parameter colon height. And that height is also in lowercase letters. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to go to this paint now and I'll say override color and type in height exactly as I saw it on that tooltip. Now if I plug in this paint node to our mountain, this attribute will eventually override the height attribute in the mountain sop. So now I can paint this in. And the cool thing about this is that we're able to blend in this value across neighboring points. Now if I go to my height, the blend is much better. Now if you'd like to take this a bit further, we can also throw down a smooth node. And we can actually smooth the application of the height attribute. So instead of saying P for position, we can type in height again. And now with this strength, we can go ahead and smooth the height's value across all the neighboring points. If you'd like to follow along with my online courses, feel free to visit any of the links that I've included with the video description. Thanks for watching.